see as priority number one, they had to install mesh wiring inside the entire show dome here. And now that it's up, it's time to welcome the crowds back. Picking up where they left off. After being closed for three months, many couldn't wait to stop and smell the flowers inside the show dome, which reopened today. We appreciate it. I mean, it's a great place to come in the winter in particular, and now with our kind of cool spring that we're having in the last couple of weeks, it's, it's nice to come out here. The colorful array in the garden impression show brought some springtime smiles to many faces. Yeah, I think it looks great. We've missed everybody. We have. Dome's director Sandy Falleron says while it was necessary to shut down to make repairs, it was too quiet around the normally buzzing Milwaukee landmark. Being a public facility, open every day, that's an element. That's the driving force, really, behind what we do here. But the work is far from over. One dome open, two to go. The next dome to be worked on is the Tropical Dome here. They're going to also be installing that mesh wiring inside, which could take a little longer because of how dense it is in there, but they're hoping to get it back open by September. At the Mitchell Park Domes, I'm Hillary Mins, WISN 12 News. The show dome will have its regular hours from here on out. Since only one dome is open, admission has been reduced to $3 for kids and adults.